This is MSJ Chem and in this video I'm going to look at the allotropes of carbon. Allotropes are different forms of the same element in the same physical state. Carbon has four allotropes, graphite, diamond, fullerene C60 and graphene. Different bonding within the structures gives the allotropes different properties. Let's start with the structure of graphite. The carbon atoms are joined by strong covalent bonds. Each carbon atom is bonded to three other carbon atoms. That gives a bond angle of 120 degrees between the carbon atoms. The layers of graphite are held together by weak intermolecular forces, which allows them to slide over one another. That makes graphite very soft. Graphite has a layered structure. The layers are held together by weak intermolecular forces. Layers can slide over one another because of the weak intermolecular forces. Each carbon is bonded to three other carbon atoms. The bond angle between the carbon atoms is 120 degrees, which is trigonal planar. Graphite is also a good conductor of electricity due to the delocalized electrons in the structure. Next we'll move on to diamond. Diamond has a giant covalent structure. Each carbon is bonded to four other carbons in a tetrahedral arrangement. That gives a bond angle between carbon atoms of 109.5 degrees. Diamond is a very hard substance due to the strong covalent bonds between the carbon atoms. So diamond has a giant covalent structure. It has a high melting and boiling point. It is very hard due to the strong covalent bonds between the atoms. Each carbon is bonded to four other carbon atoms. The bond angle is 109.5 degrees tetrahedral. It does not conduct electricity because it has no mobile electrons and it's used in jewelry and for cutting glass. Next we look at fullerene C60. Each carbon atom is bonded to three other carbon atoms. The structure consists of 12 pentagons and 20 hexagons. It shows some electrical conductivity and it's used to make nanotubes. And here's an example of a carbon nanotube. And finally, we look at graphene. Each carbon atom is bonded to three other carbon atoms. The bond angle between carbon atoms is 120 degrees. It has very good electrical and thermal conductivity. It's very thin, it's only one layer thick, but it's also very strong. And here's an example of some graphene. As you can see, each carbon is bonded to three other carbon atoms and it's only one layer thick. And finally, we have a summary of the allotropes of carbon, their structure, their bonding, the bond angle, the electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, whether they have delocalized electrons and any special properties. I'll put a link in the video description to this document.